Hey guys, welcome back to the Pressing Matters. I'm Scott, and today I'm going to cover uh, in a brief video about Dexter Gordon and the new release of Go uh, from the Blue Note Classic series. Uh, the Blue Note Classic series is all analog. It's mastered by Kevin Gray and it's pressed at Optimal in Germany. Uh, as many of you know, um, I've mentioned before in the videos that um, I'm exploring jazz along with you um, through these series, uh, the Blue Note Classic, the Tone Poet, and the Blue Note 80 series, as well as, as, well as other uh, companies issuing jazz albums. So in the last couple of years, I've started to really get uh, into jazz. A lot of these a lot of these titles, it's the first time I've heard them. Um, I've had this around for about a week and um, these are my impressions. First of all, um, it was recorded in 1962 by Rudy Van Gelder. Um, it features uh, Butch Warren and Billy Higgins in the rhythm section. Um, Sonny Clark on piano and of course Dexter Gordon on saxophone. Um, Dexter was 40 years old when he recorded this um, and he had been experiencing a bit of a resurgence uh, with Blue Note. This is his third album for Blue Note and it's considered the pinnacle of his output for Blue Note and a jazz classic all around. Um, I liked that the uh, material was varied. It has up-tempo numbers, some ballads, and even a Latin tinge number that I liked very much. Um, the album starts out on a high note um, with Dexter's own composition, Cheesecake, and uh, it's an up-tempo number. Um, really great way to start the album, and sonically, uh, it starts out with a walking bass line and uh, the drums come in, the cymbals, and it's, you can tell sonically it's going to be a great album just from the beginning few bars. Um, so we have that up-tempo number. Then there's um, a fantastic ballad, Guess I'll Hang My Tears Out to Dry, which is uh, something I was familiar with from um, Sinatra's versions from the Capitol years. And on that and... Actually, the other ballad is Where Are You, also done by Sinatra back in the um, late 50s. Uh, on those two, uh, I got to see more of Dexter Gordon's uh, softer, more lyrical side. Very uh, beautiful, tender playing, um, very emotional, and really showed off his other side, his talent, besides, um, you know, the up-tempo stuff. Um, I was very impressed with that. Um, the, those two ballads, um, they're kind of uh, torch songs. They're like, um, you know, from Sinatra's, uh, the, what they call suicide albums, but they're actually just kind of love lost, loneliness themes. And, uh, Dexter captures that perfectly on this on these two tracks. Um, Love for Sale, on the other hand, starts out with a Brazilian beat, uh, very interesting, and, and then goes full fledged into a um, you know a more up tempo uh, traditional jazz um, type sound. Um, my previous exposure to Dexter Gordon has been through um, Doing All Right, which was uh, the, in the Blue Note 80 series, and more recently with One Flight Up in the Tone Poet series. I would say <clears throat> the Tone Poet um, has better sound, slightly, and I think that's because, from what I understand, it was recorded under different circumstances in Paris, uh, not by Rudy Van Gelder, by a different team. And... Uh, that combined with the tone poet uh, treatment, the pressing, the RTI uh, pressing, and I don't know, it just comes off a little bit higher quality SQ, but um, Go is certainly no slouch. Uh, it's right up there with the top of the classic catalog and 
an easy recommendation for anyone that's um, building a jazz library. It's an essential and very easy to get into. Um, you know, I couldn't, I really couldn't recommend it highly enough. Um, it's certainly a 10 for uh, musically and I'd say a nine for sound. Um, really good mastering by Kevin Gray and a solid recommendation. Um, I'm really happy to add it to my library finally after hearing about it for so many years. And uh, this was supposed to come out with, um, I, most of these have come out in pairs, you know, they release them two at a time. For some reason this came out by itself uh, this time. I think it was supposed to come out with Out to Lunch, Eric Dolphy, but that's been put off uh, till a later date. The next two coming up are um, Grant Green's Idle Moments and um, Kenny Burrell, uh, Midnight Blue. And I have sampled both of those and I can't wait for those. Really, they're putting out great stuff right now um, in this series. And for the price, it's a no-brainer. Easy recommendation. So thanks for uh, tuning in to this brief video. Uh, I didn't want to keep it uh, going too long. So thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time. <music>